<laughs> swirly, 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 rounded edges. Okay. Oh, we're not. It's a mushroom. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's time for another Galactic Love Note. Boop, boop. <laughs> Glad to have you guys here. Today I'm going to do another mini painting and I'm going to use these great palettes with greens and teals and look at those colors, luscious, luscious colors. Uh, because there was a lot of people responding to these last time so I thought we would play with them again and see what comes forward. And I grab myself some paint brushes here and some water. And then we're gonna zoom in. Zoom. And today, doodly do, I'm gonna work with the Arcturians. And the Arcturians are a really interesting group. They're all about knowledge, but they are anchored to the earth and bridge other realms where it can come forward and manifest in our 3D human experience. And so that is really a description of those of you that are feeling connected to that. And I love, because this was totally spontaneous, figuring out who, how to work with and who to work with today. Um, I love that that came up because it's Earth Day today. So that's wonderful timing. Anyway, so for those of you that uh, have that feeling that you are really an anchor between the earth experience and the spiritual experience, that's really the energy that um, the Arcturians are here to assist with. So that's what we're gonna do today. And as I go through, I might chit tat a little bit about it or I might speed this up and put some music on. We'll see what comes forward. I did a couple paint swatches yesterday just to play with some colors and what they look like with different pens on. If you haven't done this before, I really suggest trying them out because you can get these really cheap. And they're a lot of fun to play with, just different metallic pens. And you get such an interesting, let's see if we can get that to be focused instead of the background. Wouldn't that be special? <laughs> uh, there we go, I think. You can see how the different colors look. So of course, naturally, they're going to stand out more in darker colors. But also, you get some interesting light play with um, the lighter colors. Anyway, just a little bit of fun. We will see uh, what comes of that. So where are we gonna start today? I'm feeling like maybe, what do you guys think? I'm really going for this one, but I'm feeling that one. Mm -hmm. Swirly, 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 rounded edges. Okay, oh. Or not. It's a mushroom! No, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that is some beautiful saturated color. My goodness. I do love these paints. They're so much fun to play with. And the other really cool thing, if you haven't tried watercolors before, is sometimes you can put down a lot of pigment. And if you have a really nice paper that's quite porous like this one this is not a, a fancy expensive paper this is made by Canson it's called Canson XL I think there's a link in my description to my um, some of the favorite things that I like to use with paints and whatnot but uh, it is a really good one because you get this nice sort of spongy effect meaning that it's gonna pull a lot of water but also it's not pulling so much water that your paint's disappearing or that your paper's gonna dry out. And so the paper will stay wet for quite a while. And when it gets kind of moist, that's where really cool things happen by putting other colors on top of the existing colors, because then you get all of these incredible uh, plays between the pigments and they start to splay out and you get the, uh, there is a technical term. I just like calling it the broccoli because <laughs> it looks like broccoli, like fractals, paint fractals. Things that come out like that. Let's see. Maybe they're having me paint the earth or something. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's always interesting to see. I'm really feeling like there wants to be some teal blue happening in here. This is not even... There. 
I really don't know how people do perfect circles and stuff when they paint. It always amazes me. That's why I'm fascinated by doing abstracts because you get just the most incredible things. There is some really cool stuff going on with the pigment. So what I'm going to do is do a little zoom in and uh, give you a different angle here. So you can see how this is really highly pigmented, right? You see how the pigment sort of settles into all of those little hills and valleys in the paint on the paper. And so you get this really neat texture. And that's where things start to get really interesting, especially when it dries, like right in here. That'll be quite fascinating. I just have a love of doing really wet uh, watercolors because then they dry and you get these really incredible shapes with outlines and whatnot. Anywho, uh, I'm gonna get back to painting and put this back on the tripod. So I feel like we need to have a little bit of different color happening in here. And uh, maybe some of this blue. I think this is, I lost my color swatch thing. I think it's Daniel Smith Prussian blue. If not, I'll let you know later. Oh yeah, that's fun. There, do you see how we're, it's starting to just do that? She said without having the close up on. So, okay. Oh, I love this color. This is gonna be beautiful together. Beautiful. There we go. Look at that. The way that that just kind of jumps out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep painting and let's see if the Arcturians wanna come through and bring forward a message for us today. Greetings, dear ones. We are the representatives for the Arcturian Council of Light called forward into this moment in time. Uh, we come with energies of information and support and love for those of you who are watching in your now moment. This painting was created uh, on what you would call your Earth Day, and it is an awareness and a time of remembering that you are connected to the Earth and that she is connected to you, for you are not independent of each other. And this seems to be uh, in this current time period for you, your 20th and 21st centuries, where you are forgetting that you are connected to the earth. There were great times of transition and change. There was industrialization and shifting and an awareness pulled away from the natural into the visceral. And what is created by you in your third reality uh, as density. And so you forget that there is a connection to nature and yet it is so essential for you as a being of light. A being of light having an experience in your physical body. For the two work in tandem. And there is also a forgetfulness in this. It is a same simile, you know, the earth to the human and the physical human to the spiritual being. 
the two work together as one. And so when there is an acceptance and an understanding that there is a reciprocal relationship, the energy flows with ease and grace. When there is a forgetting or a separateness or being uh, concerned only with one rather than the other, then the balance is lost. And so uh, we call upon you as light beings, as light workers who have an awareness that you are here for a connection with others on the earth at this time, that you are here to support and teach and love and uplift and bring forward this ascension, this awakening. We call to you to be mindful in your day-to-day -day experience. For it is very easy to become caught up in your spiritual practice, in the ideas and methods, the tools that you use, and to forget that you are indeed a physical being. As it is for those who are not yet in touch with their spiritual nature to be very concerned with their physical beingness. And so we call upon you to find a balance. And how do you do this in your day-to-day -day life? Well, also you are a creator being. And now that you have an awareness, a consciousness of this, it is easy for you to simply choose where your heart desires to go. So if you love to create art, as does this conduit, uh, do that. If you like to write or sing or dance or move or express your body through uh, energetics, through physicality, then do that. For all things are creating when there is intent to bring uh, your spirituality, your soul into the embodiment with your physical so that you are aware and alert and yet physically conscious. And so in your meditation time, you can do this with intent and call out to those guides, those energies that you work with, whether that is galactic beings like ourselves, whether that is ascended masters or elementals, angelics, beings from higher realms, or simply calling in to work with the energy of source and with intention to ask that when you are embodied, that your spiritual awareness and beingness is resident in your physical body. So that when your eyes are open and you are moving in the physical density, you are able to have conscious awareness in your choice. Do you see? This is part of being awakened, that you are awake to the choices that you have. You are no longer simply doing because you feel compelled to do and not knowing why. You are no longer feeling disconnected for you are aware and awake and know that there are many others like you, that you are part of the source light. You are part of one, part of all. And this brings us back to our original point of remembering that you are as connected to the earth as she is to you. And as we take care of ourselves, we are taking care of the earth. And as we are taking care of the earth, we are taking care of ourselves. And so this is part to be mindful in your spiritual practice. This is part to absorb and consider in your day to day. But it does not need to be overwrought, overthought. It does not need to be esoteric. It can be as simple as using your intention to create. Find what makes your heart feel happy. Follow that line that is the simplest way. The more that you do it, the more that you will trust it. And thus your intuition develops, your trust in self develops, your confidence grows, and you become a fully embodied being. And you are setting an example for all who are around you. And how wonderful is that? dear one. We love to connect with you and we thank you for the work that you are doing on the earth in this timeline in this now. We are representatives from the Arcturian Council of Light and we say goodbye. Another great message from the Arcturians. I just love their energy, don't you? Let me know in the comments. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about my art or star seeds, check out the websites, and I will catch you next time.